Ladies and gentlemen, I've had about four hours sleep in the last two days in Vegas, and I think I could have played better than what Manchester United's players did there against City. 4-1 against City. Uh, the second half was basically a repeat of what happened at Old Trafford earlier this season. Uh, the 2-0 under Solskjaer was pure hum humiliation, and towards the end of the game there, you've got Cancelo trying overhead kicks, you've got City fans doing the Poznan, you've got the the fans cheering every single pass. Pure humiliation. Utterly, utterly devastating performance from City. And United actually played okay in that first half. Sancho's goal, obviously fantastic. Of course, you're never going to go to City and, and dominate. We are so far, so far off City. It is a joke. The gap seems to be getting wider every single season. And I don't know how that changes. Now, you, you, can, you can start um, speaking about, I think Ragnit made a mistake in starting um, Wan-Bissaka today. I don't think he should have started. Uh, I think Deloitte, if you looked at how City played that game, all of their attacks were going down that right-hand side, and that should have changed at half-time. Poor from Ralph. But this isn't really a game, in my opinion, this is not a game where we need to talk about individual, I mean, in terms of individual errors, Jesus Christ, the entire defence. Harry Maguire, Victor Lindelof. Alex Tellez, Juan Masaka. I'm not sure who played more shit. They were all abysmal. For the first goal, Matomane, he struggled today. I don't think Matomane was 100% fit. Uh, I can pretty much guarantee that he wasn't 100% fit. You can see it in how he was playing. <coughs> and then the cross comes in. Tellez, he's got Mares behind him at the back post. My initial reaction was, uh, I, I was saying um, that Manchester United, they Today in that defence, I, I felt that it was Tellers who made that mistake. But ultimately, it was probably Harry Maguire or probably the midfielders who should have come and defended there. And instead, De Bruyne clear through. Easy. But United got the goal back. A wonderful counter-attack. And I'll tell you what, there was some really good football in that first half from United. A bit of an end-to-end -end game. We were never going to dominate. I'll tell you what, it's so painful watching United play out from the back with the ball. It really is. City is so, they play with such a hard line. That's why we got the goal with Jadon Sancho. They play with such a hard line that we got in behind. And it was a wonderful goal, a wonderful celebration that means absolutely fuck all. It means nothing. It's just another game there against our biggest rivals. Well, second biggest rivals in the league. And we're just years off. I don't know how many points, we are what, like 22 points behind? I, don't, I have no idea how far we are behind City. But to a man today, shambles. Bruno Fernandes in the false nine. I thought it could have worked. It didn't work. It did not work in any way, shape or form. Would I have taken Paul Popper off? No, I probably wouldn't have. Because I think he was going to be the one that found the balls in behind to, to Rashford and Lingard when they came on. But <sighs> defensively, that was just utterly humiliating, utterly abysmal. Lindelof, Maguire, Tellez, Wan-Bissaka... The first half, as I said, was a competitive game of football. I expected United to go there today and play like we did in that first half. Well, I hoped anyway. Uh, it's the game plan. When you play against City, you can't expect to control the ball. That's just what City do. So you have to try and hit on the counter-attack. We did that very well. But at half-time, Pep Guardiola flipped it, switched it. And Ralph Rannick didn't react. The players didn't react. And I'll tell you what, they all threw the towel in. They threw the towel in in that game. They did not give a shit towards the last 20 minutes of that game. The heads were down. Humiliation, utter, utter, utter humiliation. The 2-0 against Liverpool, uh, no, the 2 nil against City at Old Trafford. The 5 nil against Liverpool at Old Trafford. And now here, the 4-1 against City at the Etihad. And there's so many players that, so you can hang your heads in shame, they don't deserve to wear the shirt. This is just, it's not the first time we said this this season. It probably won't be the last time we say this this season. Uh, at what point does the buck stop? It's not the manager. I know, I know. as I said, you can, you can have a go at Ralph Rannick for what I would consider some poor decisions in terms of starting 11, in terms of probably not tactically changing that second half. Could we have got a bit of a grip if we made some changes? Yeah, maybe we could have. But just the players, I don't, I'm not sure what's worse. The players' uh, mentality or the players' quality? Because today it was just nothing anywhere. Utterly woeful from Manchester United in that second half. After, as I said, I, I, I wouldn't say an incredible first half by any stretch of the imagination, but it was promising enough. 
United were in. And then, again, for the second goal, it might have been a lovely bit of skill from Phil Foden, I think, to dink it over Lindelof's head and a cracking save from De Gea. De Gea made like three blinding saves, and we still lost 4-1. Ridiculous. But then Maguire, off that De Gea save, I didn't know what he was doing. <laughs> he sort of, he let the ball go through his legs. He let the ball go through his legs. City go and score. Defensive shambles. I mean, where, where do you go from here? We've got Spurs coming up next week. Then we've got Atletico Madrid. I think the Liverpool game's been postponed because they're in the FA Cup. Not sure though. You can let me know that in the comments below. But I can see after there, look, I'm looking at what's, what's Gary Neville been saying. Let's have a look. The Manchester United players were an absolute disgrace in those last 25 minutes. I'm not sure if you've seen the possession stats, but City had 92, 92% possession. Man United had 8% 8 possession. The players just threw, they threw the towel in. They threw the towel in. And yeah, <laughs> we've got top four. It's not going to be our way into the Champions League next year. And this is, this is the thing that's going to piss me off the most now is it's going to put whoever comes in next, whether that's Ten Hag, whether that's Pochettino, and the job that they've got on their hand is going to be ginormous anyway. But it's probably going to start with a year in the Europa League, which again, delays any sort of progress that we, we truly want to see made by Manchester United. I don't know what else to say, right? You let me know in the comments below. 4-1... It's another game where I genuinely feel that City almost took pity on us in that second half. They took pity on us against us at Old Trafford when it was 2-0. Liverpool, hell, even they took pity on us at 5-0. I don't know where to turn. I know you can try and, as I said, uh, throw some stick at Ralph Radnick for some poor decisions from him in the starting eleven and not changing the game, but I am not going to be pointing the finger at the manager too much when it is it's the players, man. It's abysmal. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And look, it's Vegas. Might stay here.